Hi guys, back out again. This time I want to do a long term camp out. So I bought myself an Arctic tent and I've got all my gear up here. I'll uh, give you a walk round, show you what's what. But I think we'll be comfortable here for, for a couple of months. So I pretty much bought all my toys and uh, really impressed with this Arctic tent. It's a 10 man tent thick canvas obviously you see my TP diaries I'm kind of comparing the two but this this thing is oh, it's bulletproof it weighs about 40 kgs it's uh, just shy of 16 foot round and uh, 8 foot tall but it's a it's a nice piece of kit I've got the wood burner going nice cup of coffee like I said I'll show you as the camp out evolves, all the bits and pieces I've brought with me and uh, the process to uh, to camp out long term but it's quite it's quite full on when you first get here because you've got everything to do but it'd be, uh, be interested in here obviously done five weeks before like I said in the teepee that's six weeks sorry in the teepee so see how this one goes No, I'm impressed with this. But it's definitely built to last. You can get a liner for the inside to make it really warm, but obviously spring's coming. But the quality of it is amazing. And a great uh, place for your wood burner. The quality of the canvas and the zips is bulletproof. There she is in all her glory. She takes some pegging out, and there's a nice front door section. I've kind of propped it up to give it some height. With the pole there, so you've got the fly mesh, and then you've got the I've rolled the doors right up. Obviously, the doors come right down, so you're totally sealed in. Great piece of kit, though, if you're in the market for a long-term shelter. She does look good in the in the woodland. And then over there, like I said, the camp's evolving. Mind the guy lines. This is going to be the, the kitchen area. The Oz tent. I've got all my stocks in here. I've got a nice uh, solar panel, which I'll show you with a, with a great power pack. So I'm going to rig that up. I, I had it out yesterday when it was really sunny. So we won't be short of power, hopefully. Then my little shower bag. I filled that up with water I collected from the other day. That's all primed and ready to go. And obviously if you're new to my channel, this is my lean-to. I've made some improvements to this as well, as I'm gonna stay up here quite a while. I'll put a side on, on there. Got all my pots and pans hanging up, so it's quite organised in here now. Just sorting a few bits out. It takes time to, to sort everything out. I've got quite a nice uh, gas grill there, so that's uh, that's a nice addition to the camp. I salvaged all these bits, so they haven't cost me nothing. But I was getting sick when I done the six weeks up here. I was getting sick of the southwesterly's blowing in there so just took a fence panel down and panelled that side up and then put some uh, some spruce boughs along the back and there's the camp long term camp it's going to take a few more sessions a few more days to get everything completely sorted and down here the vegetable patches taking shape I'm hoping to get them potatoes in in the next two to three weeks see what the weather's, weather's like if there's no frost in the next week I, I might change my mind get them in because they're out here anyway so I've got some seed potatoes 
Let's go and get go back in there and get the coffee. But I'm well impressed with the uh, with the ten man Arctic. That is a nice piece of kit. The only I think the only snag I found so far is the breathability compared to the teepee. You're getting more more condensation in there, so. I think if you had the liner inside that would that would make a difference. But the condensation's quite quite bad. The other day it was raining all day and I had the wood burner on and it was it was dripping. But then hey ho, I can collect the water. So I'll give you a brief look round. It's my wood store, wood burner, bought me chairs with me as well. Mine and Mrs. Bushwhackers, dog's got his bed. And inside, there's a where the liner goes. I've put some nice paracord all the way around, so I can hang things, dry your clothes, and things like that. I've got my bed chair over there. It's very comfortable that. And then Mrs. Bushwhacker's got a little tent in here that so shows you the size of this uh, of this tent. She's got a little tent she likes to be enclosed in the mesh so she's going to be sleeping there that's quite a cozy little setup and then at the top of the tent you've got some great like portal vents which is a great feature so I opened them the other day to you know obviously increase the airflow try and help with the condensation but it swings and roundabouts. You know, it's such a bulletproof material. It's unbelievable. The army do make some uh, some quality gear. And then I've got all my that's my power pack there, which I'll show you in another video. That's going to be handy. I've got that and a leisure battery for power. Obviously for you know my camera and me me cigarettes torches and charging them via solar. So it's a little tour round. I'm glad I've you know I've done it before for six weeks. You you kind of get into a routine, but organisation's definitely the uh, the key. As I say, it's one of my sayings. Organisation's the key to success, isn't it, Buster? You know. Right, I'm gonna have this coffee and I've got a a puncher, I've got a first problem. While well, I'm here I've got a puncher on the barra. I bought a pneumatic tire, I was gonna buy the hard solid tire and I bought the, the pneumatic tire so kind of wishing I didn't now, so I'm gonna take that off, try and fix that, try and get the tube out and put it in a bucket of water and see where the air's coming out. I think I've got some uh, Gorilla Tape, I'll put some Gorilla Tape on there see if that holds. But definitely need the wheelbarrow up here for for wood processing. I bought my chainsaw as well for for wood prep. Long term you, you've got to have some, either a large saw or a chainsaw. You know we could still get some cold snaps. Oh uh, yeah, really excited about this one. Lots of outdoor cooking. Not so um won't be so extravagant though me me menus. I've I've tend to you know I've got more dry goods so I'll go through what we've what we're gonna cook because it's obviously got no fridge so it's you know it's gonna be a lot of pastas, rices. I've bought some potatoes with me. So it's gonna be no extravagant bacon and sausage and steaks and things like that. It's going to be more, you know, more dry, dry food. But hey, -oh, it's still food. Put a few spices with it. Mrs. Bushwhacker's going to be doing quite a bit of cooking. She likes all that, you know, the the rices and the pastas and putting some nice spices with it, making something out of nothing really. 
Right, let's catch you in a bit, guys. It's a lovely looking camp now. Morning guys, day six, bit of a blustery one last night, so to put the, uh, the Oz tent canopy, secure that down a bit, bit better, upgrade the, uh, the stakes, so I've got the fire on now, going to cook myself a bit of toast, so like I said day six, pleasant day, I think it's going to be showery today, but settling in now kind of it's taken about six days to, to organize everything everything in its place so loving it gorgeous especially when it's like this beautiful sunshine so both tents are up a reasonable amount of firewood got food stores in got plenty of water comfortable night's sleep what more can a man want? And a gorgeous fire. So me coffee and I'm splitting this with a pine. I'm making a nice little table for inside the the Arctic tent. I could make it into a nice little Swedish, but I won't. I think that's done. That's split quite nicely that. Then I'll just take off the corners I think. Then should be a nice little table.
it's a nice practical table nice little mornings project things are looking comfortable you can't beat tent life <laughs>